climate change is having an effect on the livelihood and cultural practices of indigenous farmers in Parque de la Papa, situated in South Central Peru. The purpose of the park is to protect and preserve the indigenous biocultural heritage in the Andes. The park is home to six communities of about 7,000 people and 1,500 varieties of potatoes. It is expected that the temperature will increase by 1.6 degrees Celsius by 2050. Because of the increasing temperatures and the increasing threat of pests, farmers are having to plant their potatoes at higher and higher elevations. Many farmers believe that it's better to keep many potato varieties to ensure food security. El Gorbujo de los Andes es una plaga originaria de la región andina y está distribuida entre 2.500 a 4.700 metros de altura. Esta plaga daña a la papa hasta un 45% de su producción. El ciclo de vida en condiciones naturales dura aproximadamente 300 días. La temperatura óptima de esta plaga está entre 12 y 15 grados de temperatura. A mayor temperatura se acorta el ciclo de vida. Hay referencias del incremento de poblaciones de, de otras especies de gorgojo por efecto del cambio climático. It is expected that the precipitation will increase by 9.2 millimeters by 2050. A rise in the amount of precipitation indicates a higher probability of pests due to an increasingly moist environment. Our project partners include the International Potato Center, known as SIP, and the Association for Nature and Sustainable Development, known as ANTIS. They work with local communities within Parque de la Papa to assist farmers in maintaining potato biodiversity and their traditional practices. We use NASA Landsat 8 imagery taken on May 2, 2016, just before the harvest time, which reflects maximum vegetation. An Astro Global Digital Elevation model was also used to determine slope and elevation. Weather data, including past and present and future precipitation and temperature, were acquired from NOAA and WorldClim. We also use soil type and land use capacity maps from Andes along with GPS points from SIP. With this information, we created a suitability model and a risk assessment. To create an integrated analysis, the different variables were used to perform a weighted overlay based on input from our partners and the farmers themselves. We used climate and precipitation data for 2050 for our risk assessment. The results of this analysis will be used to help inform scientists and our partners who collaborate with the farmers in Parque de la Papa on areas which are currently suitable for potato cultivation along with areas which are at risk of being unsuitable for the future.